the next kind of method to derive reasoning in artificial intelligence systems are the reasoning under uncertainty so we have seen the forward chaining and the backward chaining here the rules were very well clearly defined and also we knew that what goals we want like the fire sprinkler needed to be turned on based on if there was a smoke detected or there was a fire alarm so sometimes it may be necessary to have a reasoning ability under uncertainty so observed variable are is variable evidence agent knows certain things about the state of the world example sensor readings or symptoms unobserved variables what this agent needs to reason about the other aspects like whether whether where an object is or what disease present so there can there can be two kinds of information one kind which uh, we can very well define a system based on like a fire system can be clearly defined to operate based on there is a smoke there is a uh, the system is hot or there is a fire alarm which has been turned on but under uncertainty we will need to take various other factors also into consideration like ignorance this is the limit of our knowledge and this leads to us to be uncertain so there will be always some kind of ignorance in real world systems and physical randomness or indeterminism we know the outcome of a coin tossing can be head or tails but there will be uncertainty as to which option will be outcome so such kind of factors like ignorance and physical randomness and vagueness which is many of the predicates we employ appear to be vague so such kind of situations will lead to uncertainty so when we are dealing with uncertainty we will have to consider probability into consideration while designing a system which is based to work on so when we are designing systems to based on probability one option to use is the bias theorem and there's a bias network which we will discuss in the next lecture which we can look into to understand this problem so the hypothesis upon evidence that is the probability of hypothesis upon evidence is equal to the probability of or the likelihood of evidence by hypothesis into the probability prior to evidence that is ph divided by a normalizing factor that is pe so we will consider certain thing like the evidence of the occurrence of the hypothesis before and we will consider the e by h to derive the h by e so that is how the bias theorem works and we will just see the biasian network in the next lecture to understand more about this if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment also do watch other videos in this series to know more about artificial intelligence